How's it going guys, Mick Ambrose from All About Tech, back for another video. I've had quite a few requests asking me to cover the um, the new ASIC miner that has been released that mines on the Crypto Knight algorithm that may harm GPU mining rigs um, owners. That doesn't make sense. It. I've made this video because it's it, it swings both ways to be honest with you um, I've written down some points about it Richard Ells covered it in the Facebook live um, Q&A that he did earlier today um, I say earlier today but I'm not releasing this video until tomorrow because like I said in, the, in my previous video I go to work tomorrow but I still want to give you content those days so um that's why I'm wearing the same T-shirt. Basically, I do. I do wear different clothes. So. <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, Richard Ells spoke about it and reassured everyone that it doesn't make the slightest of difference. Um, it may affect GPU users for mining, but um, here's the points that I'd like to get across about it. So, an ASIC miner, and, and technically, technically, it's an FPGA miner. Um, it's like a hybrid, but let's, let's, let's just for argument's sake call it an ASIC miner. The miner will not affect how ETM works. It It's not going to affect the blockchain. Um, transaction speeds won't, won't suffer because of it. If anything, if an ASIC miner's hogging all of the, um, all of the, all of the mining with their like 20 killer hashes a second, then transaction speeds are actually going to be really fast. <laughs> um, they are really expensive. I mean, and these, the people selling them as well, they're selling them in bulk. They're not selling them one, you could just buy one. They're selling them in bulk, which um, I've been noticing on, on Reddit feeds and, and the Bitcoin talk uh, uh, webpage, which is like a discussion a discussion group. Um, it's like a discussion website for for cryptocurrency, um, and I wouldn't like 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 Richard said. It's not going to affect the the blockchain. They're going to follow what Monero do, and Monero have announced. Well, actually, I don't know if they've officially announced, but I think um, they're putting they're going to be changing the algorithm to so that the um, for to basically to make um, ISIC miners non-compatible anymore. I personally like it only affects you if you're 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 a GPU miner and you mine with and you mine the algorithm with GPUs. At the at the other end of the of the scale, maybe something like this needs to happen for Nvidia and AMD to start developing mining specific hardware, which in my personal opinion. Mining should be done on mining specific hardware. Graphics cards are meant for for, for people that want to build a gaming PC, and I'm going to completely divide opinion here, because people with mining rigs are really getting high rate about it, but GPUs have gone up an extensial amount, and people that wanted to build a gaming PC or an editing rig or anything like that can't can't get what they um what they want now because the GPU prices have literally especially in the mid range GPUs, the ten sixties, ten seventies and um on the AMD side, all of the AMD side has has, has taken a massive hit because of it. Uh, and I don't think the, the, the PC community and the PC gaming community is being thought about here. Um I know this is gonna divide opinion but and everyone has the right to their own opinion but if you're mining on 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 graphics cards that's m that's not meant they're not designed for gpu mining it just so happens that they're really good at it but nvidia and amd should be bringing out their own their own specific mining soft mining hardware i mean the reason they haven't is because they've been making a killing i mean GPUs are constantly sold out. I mean, I've got a 1080 Ti, 
in my in my rig and it cost me over 900 pounds i know at the higher end of the scale like the 1080 ti is is apart from the brand new tight 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 nxps that have been that have been released it's 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 up there with with the highest with the highest um with the highest performance but to pay like for a 1060 a 1060 6 gigabyte is running around f well like 300 odd quid i i had a 1060 before my 1080 and i paid 200 like roughly 200 pound for a 6 gigabyte brand new and then i sold that a year later for a 260 pound used because of this whole mining situation and i sold it cheaply as well like i could have got more for it but what the the point i want to get across is no matter how the coins are mined at least the blockchain is working i know that a lot of people are going to be annoyed with what i say when it comes to my opinion on on gpu mining but at the at the end of the day whilst i am a massive advocate for cryptocurrency and blockchain and electronium i'm also a pc i'm i'm a, I'm a computing student for god's sake and the price of graphics cards is 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 beyond ridiculous and the fact that they're they're still being bought up at that price because people want to mine with it it's it's absolutely ridiculous nvidia and amd until something like this like an asic miner comes along and disrupts the need for gpus for mining they're not really going to do much because they're making too much money and like if you've got a if you've got a GPU miner rig, fair enough. It like at the end of the day, technology advances. Technology shouldn't be held back because you've just forked out three grand on a massive mining rig. Like that's how technology works. Technology advances. There's always going to be a new product that's better than the last product. And um, I don't necessarily think these ASIC miners are. I mean, yeah, in terms of. A decentralized blockchain you want as many nodes doing that blockchain as possible to make it purely decentralized and and, and that's what makes it so secure but um, nobody needs to worry about electronium coming to an end because of it it's it's it, it it couldn't be far from the truth it doesn't matter as as such a lot of GPU miners will Will, would move to a different algorithm obviously because they've got to get their return of investment somehow but the fact that people have managed to create an ASIC miner that can get such a high hash rate like I was reading 20 kilo hashes a second 20 kilo hashes a second for what what looked to be like a really efficient like not that power hungry um device i mean if you if you look at the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrency one of the few disadvantages are it costs an absolute fortune in electricity to mine it and if people are developing hardware to mine for a much lower cost and get good performance then i i personally think that that's not a bad thing i mean the whole the whole the, the whole point of technology is that it advances and i i didn't think gpu mining would be a thing forever because they they, they will eventually bring out specific mining hardware to do it i mean this is computing we're talking about it advances like all the time like i bought my 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 i5 7600k um, processor, and then literally six months later, they announced the the eight the eight hundred series. Uh, sorry, the eight thousand series processors. And already, I'm like, oh, well, technology advances. Like, there's nothing you can stop it. Like, you're always going to get better performance things coming out. But and e even with all that said, Richard Ells has stated that he's going to follow what Monero do, and and basically change the algorithm if Monero do but it's 
it's not the end of Electronium if, you, if it doesn't. I mean, I know the, mo the majority of my viewers would be just concerned about Electronium. But there are there are a few GPU miners out there, which fair enough. Like if you've made if you've made a significant investment in a GPU mining rig, um, you want to be able to mine with a decent hash rate, and I totally get that. But at the same time, think about the community you guys disrupted at the same time. The ASIC miners are disrupting you exactly the same as you guys have disrupted the whole PC gaming market. Like to get a mid-range PC now, you're looking you're you're looking around a a, a grand just for mid just for mid-range with a, with like a 1060. I was looking at 1070s costing over 500 quid. What the what what on earth is that all about? Like it's te new technology disrupts older technology. But and it's not even like it's older technology. It's just technology that wasn't originally meant for mining. It's meant for gaming. But um, that's my take on it. Don't worry about it because I'm 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 talking about how ASIC miners aren't necessarily the worst thing to happen in the world anyway. But at the same time, Richard Elza said that he's that they they will change the algorithm if Monero do. And and follow th and follow them to be honest, because I know a lot of about cryptocurrency and a decentralized um, a decentralized blockchain is about community, basically lending their hashing power to complete transactions, and I totally get that. But why not invest in an Nvidia or AMD mining specific? hardware so that the other community can get on and be able to build their game in PCs and that for not an extortionate price like it's it's something that I've not really wanted to talk about because I know that it would divide opinion but I thought I'd give my take on it considering I'm a, I'm 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 a computing enthusiast I'm a computing student um I love computers I love PC gaming I love gaming um and I love technology. I love blockchain technology for what it is, um, the concept of it, how secure it is, and these. Like, unfortunately, tech, newer technology comes out and it disrupts older technology. I mean, for someone to be able to develop a device that literally gets that 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 amount of efficiency as well as power to mine that much per second is it's, it's astonishing and it just shows how how much we can develop technology in a short space of time I mean if you look at the last 10 years in computing how much things have just accelerated especially in the last five years in the last five years things have just ex accelerated beyond beyond what people would have thought and and it will continue to advance like you can you can go out and buy a, a, a brand new like 1080 ti mining rig and in a couple of years it'll be obsolete <laughs> it'll still work but in terms of mining mining algorithms the difficulty goes up and it makes it harder and harder to mine whereas what they're intended for PC game and you buy a top of the line 1080 Ti this 1080 Ti will last me like 3, 4 well at top level at, at the very highest standard of gaming at least 3, 4 years and it will still be a high end at that point but it will eventually be out outperformed and, and, and everything else but um, that's my take on it I hope I've not divided opinion too too much of it um this isn't me like being like disrespecting GPU miners that you shouldn't be there. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's it's been it's been good. But if newer technology comes out, then newer technology comes out. Like that's that's the way you have to see it. Like things advance at the end of the day. And I know I keep saying that and I'm gonna keep saying that because that's that's what we want. We want things to advance. We want to be able to use less electricity and keep the blockchain working as it should. Because then 
Because that's one of the arguments that people complain about when it comes to cryptocurrency. Oh, it costs so much in electricity. There's 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 these mining rigs that use more electricity than in than what entire countries use. And it's like, oh, okay, well, it's like for example, Envion. Um, they're a, they're a crypto, um, relatively new, and they build big massive mining rigs in shipping containers. That you can just plug into a massive so like farm solar like a solar panelled farm, and it just uses the um, the 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 the, the solar powered electricity to 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 mine all of their cryptocurrency, which is a is a brilliant idea. Like if you can use cheaper cheaper ways to get electricity or or make efficient, more efficient products, then I personally think you're onto a winner. I'm about advances in technology. And that is all I really have to say about it, to be honest. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm, I'm probably going to get grilled in the comments by GPU miners. Um, like I said, it's, it, it's nothing against the fact that you GPU mine. But... I've seen a lot of hate on Facebook go towards the whole ISIC, ISIC, ASIC miners, purely because of the fact that they that um, they develop things that are that 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 perform better. Like at the end of the day, that's how the world works. People are people develop things that are better than other things. So um, yeah, that's my take on it. I'd I'd love to 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 get. To see a little discussion down there, those that have, um, those that maybe agree with me, those that maybe disagree with me, just because you disagree with me, please don't dislike the video just because you disagree with me, because this this is literally I'm looking at both sides here. Like on one hand, I know that GPU miners have made an investment and they want to see a return on that investment, but on the other end of the scale, ASIC miners are disrupting GPU miners exactly how GPU miners have disrupted the entire PC gaming community so it works both ways um, anyway comment down below I want to see a good good discussion on this one like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I shall check you out in the next video peace out guys